so let's have a look at the fundamentals for the week so here on forex factory this is monday so monday the only orange event here is the ecb president speech so that is going to cost a little volatility in the euro but monday is tricky like it's a tricky day we might get this might result in a lot of volatility or no volatility because it's on a monday right so what i'm going to do is expand this and then we get to the news for the rest of the week so tuesday is very eventful you can see there are so many red folders to keep an eye on so we have PMI for France. So, you know, Europe comprises of, the Euro comprises of all the currencies from the European Union, including that of France, right? So there is a, a PMI event from France and there's also a PMI from Germany. So this is my time, my time zone. So this is London. At, uh, 15 minutes after the London session and 30 minutes after the London open, there is a uh, Euro news. So Tuesday morning London session, the Euro is something to keep an eye on. And then right after that, you keep an eye on GBP as well. And later in the day, you keep an eye on USD. And in the night, there is AUD. So let me give you a little tidbit on how I decide my pair to trade so what I if I'm looking for volatility for a day so on Tuesday is a very interesting trading day because there is euro GBP and USD AUD is later in the day but let's add AUD to it so we have these news events here GBP USD so what I'm going to look at is select this event euro gbp usd and aud so the pairs that don't have is disappeared so let's go back to the chat and let me do something here instead to avoid this getting deleted again so let's go to the charts so the pairs with a volatility is what euro usd and aud on tuesday right and the pairs without volatility indirectly when there is one news depending on the type of news it, it affects other news as well but if you want the pairs that are directly involved in the news that is euro gbp usd and aud pairs that are not directly influenced by the news would be chf card nzd and jpy right so it means that on tuesday if you are trading or personally this is what i do if i want to trade with the volatility my interest would be this space so the the pairs i'll be focusing on on tuesday would be pairs like so i'll pair these pairs against each other so i'll look at pairs like euro gbp euro usd euro aud gbp usd and then aud usd so this currency pairs one two three four and five based on the fundamental events that is happening on tuesday these five pairs are going to be very volatile so on tuesday if i'm trading and i'm interested in the volatility i want that uh, adrenaline push on the trading pairs then i'll be going for these pairs right so in that case then i'll go look at euro gbp euro usd euro aud gbp usd for a trading opportunity based on the strategy i'm trading so if i'm looking for a b c d i'll go look for these five pairs the one that gives me a b c d and that will be the pair i'll be trading on tuesday right 
if I am not interested in the volatility that is happening, then I would want to stay away from this direct impacted pace and I trade the indirect pace. So then I'll be looking at something like CAD CHF, NZD CAD, CAD JPY, CHF JPY, NZD JPY, NZD CHF. So those are the pairs I'll be interested in if I don't want the direct volatility of the news on my trading pair. So this is one of the, the things I do to select my trading pairs for the week. So this would be what I would select based on the volatility that is coming on Tuesday. So let's continue. So on Wednesday, which is the main trading day, we don't really have a lot of, we don't have any at all. But because it's a Wednesday, orange folder events are something to keep an eye on, especially with oil and all the wahala <laughs> that is happening in um, Iran and Israel. You want to keep an eye on, especially on the card events. So in that case, because there is not much happening on, on Wednesday, another pair you can be trading will be what? Euro card or Euro USD or card usd so i'm pairing those news events pairs against each other if i'm interested in the volatility but if i'm not then i'll leave them and i'll still stick to the pairs that i selected from tuesday events on thursday if i'm interested in trading with the volatility again i'll be interested in the usd pairs right so in that case what it means is because we have from the pairs that we listed on Tuesday, we have a USD event. There's an Euro GBP and AUD event. And on Thursday too, there is going to be a USD event. So in that case, if I'm just looking at a pair to trade for the week, my focus will be more on the USD pairs. So I'll be looking at Euro USD, GBP USD and AUD USD. Why? Because there is um, an event on Tuesday an event on tuesday and there is a slight uh, a medium impact event on wednesday and on thursday there is a gdp event and home sales which is also happening on thursday and on friday there is also a usd event so what it means is this week if you are interested in volatility, you'll be going for the USD pairs. And the ones that you'll be most interested in would be AUD USD, Euro USD, and GBP USD. And because of the, the JPY event that is happening on Friday, you can also add USD JPY to your pairs. And you can add all the other USD uh, JPY pairs to be traded on Friday. So if I am looking for volatility, the main pairs I'll be trading for this week would be EOUSD, GBP USD, AUD, and USD JPY. So this is how I go about selecting my trading pairs based on what the, the fundamental calendar is is showing us and if i want to stay away from the volatility i do the opposite and go with the pairs that are not affected by the volatility for the news so if this makes sense to you comment below and if you want more insights on this let me know see you in the next video